So I decided to make a video about Fast API with Surreal DB just to test it. So I will put my name in here and then I will just put an email in there. I'm going to create the user. This ID is minimized with a font that's not that big, so you don't have to worry about it. That's the name, that's the email. I will add a new name with a new email. I will create the user and then I will add an other one. I will call this Michelle and the email will be Michelle here. So you can see how this is working. And if I go ahead and delete the user, I will delete in this case this one. And when I reload, the users are still there. So if I were to add a new one, I will call this Sophia, and this will be Tester. Then you can see how the user is there, and when I reload, the data is there. So to build this, of course, I can just delete them all and reload. To build this, you can see that the Fast API has generated the route. The get is the index page, is what you see here. And then we have the post, that's when we created the user, and the delete when we deleted a user. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the code for this application. So I walk you through it quickly. And there's some smart things about it that you should look at it. First of all, the Fast API um, server is running in this virtual environment. That's why you see the data in this terminal. And you should also know that Surreal DB, the server, is running here. All these are the commands that I have previously executed. Surreal DB is running and Fast API is running. In the static folder, I have the CSS. All the code, by the way, is in GitHub. I will put a video description to it so you can download it. That's a five icon. And this is the JavaScript that does the following. You can create a user. This is the code for it. And then you can also delete the user. That's the code for it. In the template, I have the header which contains the top of the page, the footer, which links to the JavaScript, and the index, which just displays all the users when you load the page. So in this case, this is the index page. At the moment, there are no users. I delete them all. And if we look at the route in Python, we have the X file. I will get back to it in a second because this function here is really, really smart. So I leave it there for now. But in the next file, I have the get index, which gives you all the users. You can see the command to select all the users is this simple. And then I pass the users to the index templating, which is that one there. Then I also have the post create user. This route, I did it in purpose like this, so you can see that I actually connect to the database without using the X file, and this is what I need to execute in order to create the user. I am using this variable let, and this variable let that comes from SurrealDB, and then I concatenate here, so I avoid SQL injections, and then I just run the command. In the delete route, this one here, this is a little bit smarter because in here you can just see that I run this line of code. I pass a user ID that actually comes from JavaScript. And then I just run this command. And here is the smart thing about the X file. This X file has a function called DB, which is this one. And this function is really smart because this is going to use a pool of connections to SurrealDB. This will be the pool of connections. And at the moment, there are only two connections in the pool, and they are coming from here, connection one and connection two. So if those connections were used at any moment, 
a new connection will be created on the fly so you never run out of resources. And then it does some checks to see if the pool should be freed or not. And then it just returns the data back to the client or to the function that call this DB. So in this case, this one is the one that deletes the user. Well, the code is on GitHub and I don't want to make the video too long. So I hope you liked it and you can see how easy it is to use as API with Surreal DB. I will just put here subscribe and thank you. And then we create this user for you.